My dear brothers and sisters, a title gives a person a certain status in society. However, just because we have this title and status in society, it doesn't mean that the title puts us one above the other, that we become authoritarian and that we are put on a pedestal and we need to be worshipped. I think the title is given to us so that we can continue to be at the humble service of others. If we look at the whole life of Mary, our Blessed Mother, humility, simplicity and service, and of course obedience to God's will, these could be attributes that we could give to Mary. And even though we call her Queen today, I'm sure she's a Queen that continues to be simple and humble, always obedient to God's word. My dear brothers and sisters, in the aftermath of the Second World War, in October of 1954, Pope Pius XII introduced this particular feast in the Church's liturgical calendar, the Queenship of Mary, acknowledging for a fact that whether there is war or there is peace, people always come to Mary asking her to intercede to her son Jesus and she never disappoints. If we remember the episode of the miracle at the wedding feast at Cana, what did she tell those stewards? Do whatever he tells you. Here comes the intervention, here comes the intercession and indeed there was the best wine that came out of water. Mary continues to be the handmaid of the Lord. She continues to do His will. And even though she is queen, she continues to be the humble servant of the Lord. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.